at that point, I'm thinking the Arabs are, are people who are, you know, standing up and, you know, and trying to solve the problems. Okay, I had no understanding of how they that was. Anyway, so I financed all of Jihad on Islam and half financed Jihad on Islam from day one to the tune that there is no money left, there is no cars left, my city is gone, my house is gone, it's all gone, okay? But that's okay. I know I have fundamentally the ability to create it again should I want to do that. Um, and ultimately, the mission to me was too important. I mean, when was it? Well, at that time in Egypt, okay, I ran out of money in Egypt. Um, so there's no more property in Canada? No, there's no more nothing in Canada. <laughs> I, I have my business associate saying, when are you going to stop this Islam and come home and get back to work? Okay? Yeah, that's right, you know? Um, anyway. And you were at the end of the day? Oh yeah, he, but I, I have to say, he's the only one who didn't abandon me. He's the only one who's got my back if something goes wrong. Um, but I made him a lot of money in his career, and he knows my, my revenue generating capabilities. Um, and he can't quite get his head around. He's an atheist. He can't, you know, to him, life is about money. Um, and he can't kind of cope, you know, he's watched me for 20 years go from being an atheist to a Christian to a Christian to a mud, you know, you can't quite get <laughs> um, still an Oh yeah, yeah, and always good. Like a good friend. Good friend, solid friend, and um, thank goodness, because I have no family or anything else. Anyway, so, you know, I tried, I'm also really good at marketing, so, I mean, I tried everything on Juice, I tried, Juice Club, you know, so I'd have them work and do videos on a monthly basis. I tried, you know, I, I knew we couldn't sell advertising because advertisers where, were... Where do you get all that information? Oh, we have articles from everywhere. Um, How do you do this? We have, the, in Iraq, we have the most of the news reports in Iraq. That means they've got to be translated. We have a news and information we have a kind of sand. They are sending all these uh, articles and what's it? But what they do is they send you a link to a private forum. You can't go direct because of the links, okay? So they send you a link to a private forum, you log in, you grab the information down. Same with videos and that kind of thing. That's how they disseminate the information. In Pakistan, I have two reporters. Um, but, which, you know, haven't been paid for ages, but nevertheless continue to do their work. Um, and we get information there, mostly in their view, so that's another translation for us. I think all the, all the information are first-hand information? Yeah, well, we've got first-hand information coming out of Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Iraq, but uh, we are weeks behind in translating. Okay, and this is a huge problem, okay? You know, I, you know, the lead of my translation team has left. Uh, the, the bottom line is we have no money, okay? Because we can't pay these people, you know, and the whole idea was to come to Malaysia and get a central office set up where we can operate like a publishing company. I mean, I've built several publishing companies. That's what I do for a living. So I understand what it takes to, to do it. But in looking at being able to do that. And yes, that's the first step is to get an office on the ground where we have translators and, and the two and an editor because I'm burning out. I'm doing all the editing myself and I'm burning out, frankly, after all this period of time. It's so, so but there is difficulty getting into the Malaysian market. You know, from a corporate perspective, from you know, opening up a bank account, getting a, a corporation, I can't open up a Malaysian bank account unless I've been here two years. Um, I have to have a work permit and work for somebody else if I want to stay in the country. I can start a new corporation, but that new corporation has to go to somebody else. Okay, so there's all these kind of hoops. There's overall my money, and okay, there are doable hoops, but there's hoops that are not money. At the same time, I have to look objectively at where Jesus is at. 
just reached its peak in 2003 when the Iraq war started. Because I noticed uh, the one side being up and down seven times. Oh, now, yeah, and I'm, I'm taking it offline at some point. But because we can't get any fresh information out because we don't have the hands to do it. This is a problem. Um, we're not refreshing. I've been refreshed all week. Okay? I mean, news, it's daily news. You've got to, you got to, if you want to retain the hitch, you've got to be putting that information out there. I'm not for doing that because currently I don't have a lead translator. I don't read Arabic. I can't even pull the information that these guys are given to, you know, and tell them, okay, this report needs to be done, and that report needs to be done, because we need an Arabic speaker in-house that can, can make those decisions. Anyway, in 2003, we had over 800,000 hits a day. That's because there were... That's right. A day. And that was... 50-50, Muslim and non-Muslim. We were exactly where a lot of us to be, okay? A lot of people knew that the Iraq war was a bunch of baloney before it ever started, and mainstream press was not giving it, you know, it was just propaganda. So we got a huge amount of, you know, alternative media as a whole went up during that period of time. Well, and Al Jazeera is another story. I mean, I'll come back to Al Jazeera anyway. So that was all good, and we, you know, we were able to keep on top of all of that, you know, um, unaware of the other. Um, the problem with, with translation in Egypt is they don't know English. So you know, yes, they can translate. You know. Translate. They know Arabic, but they don't know English on the other side, so that's a, another huge problem. What ended up happening is now people are just tired of the war. We were also, at that point, at all, I mean, I'm going to write a book about this, and this is entirely between me and you, so I don't want to say this on camera.